Hi guys, so today I'm here to do my May haul, but before we start I just wanted to thank all of you guys because we made it to 10,000 subscribers and my, that was kind of like my goal for my birthday which is June 1st and we were like we were like a full week like early and I was just so 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 excited so I wanted to thank all of you guys and anybody new that subscribed, welcome to my channel. Um, I do these like monthly hauls every single month obviously hence like the name. I feel like this is like the randomest haul that I've had. Um, I don't have that much stuff but still I have um, my coffee, it's about like 3 o'clock right now. I'm starting off with something that I got from the thrift store. This is from Valley Village. This is the only thing I have from there. Actually, no, I have two things from there. Um, I have this midi plaid skirt and I know this is like a fall item but it is just so cute it kind of has that like Burberry kind of print on it it's not Burberry but um, it was only like $12 so I'm like mm, okay I need this it's like slightly big on my waist but if I wear like a thick knit sweater it's like it's like it's gonna fit perfectly and then the second item that I got from Valley Village is this little bag and I'm like obsessed with it it's kind of hold it from the top and it's just like a little bit more unique and it's just like really really cute and kind of like old looking I really really like it I don't have a purse in this kind of like shape so I was really excited to get something like this and this was only like $4.99 so I'm like okay this is the steal I need this it's just it's really really cute the next vintage item that I have I actually got at a vintage store on Queen Street I'll try and link it down below um, and it is this circle skirt again it's a midi skirt and it is like a baby blue and white like they're not polka dots they're like little hearts all over it and it's just really really cute and perfect for the summer because it's like really nice lightweight as well as it has a lot of pleats at the waist which for me is really really important when I look for a mini skirt just because I wanted to puff out a little bit more so that's something to look out for if you're looking for a skirt that like actually have that like puffed out shape and not just like fall like drape over your legs or anything the next item that I have is from where did I get this from this is from public butter um, I got this I actually vlogged the day that I got this I did like a thrifting thrift with me like vintage shop with me kind of video I'll link it down below but I got this from public butter uh, in Toronto and it is this like 1960s 70s like print it's orange green it has like a paisley print to it and I'm like honestly obsessed um, when I wore this I wore it with like a white collar underneath just to kind of match the little uh, cuff on the sleeves it kind of has like a drop waist and it has a little like pleats at the bottom so it makes it a little bit more puffy at the bottom which I really really like and then the last item that I have that was like vintage um, this is from black market I want to say um, and it is this like little polka dot little skinny scarf this will be great for tying in my hair or like my neck or something just because it has these really like summery colors obviously with the pink and the purple and the orange and it's just like really really pretty and I don't have anything with these kind of colors I'm a little sad I didn't have this like around Easter just because like that would work perfectly um, but anyway for the summer it's still gonna be really cute the next items that I have are from actual stores so I'll link all, all the items down below um, and this is from Susie Shear which is actually a store I barely shop in um, so I was a little surprised that I found this um, and it is just like guys this is my favorite dress of all time it was a $19.99 like regular price and it's just mm, it's so beautiful I had to send a like a little video to my boyfriend just to show him because it like it's the perfect like twirling dress let me show you okay so it is like this light pink little dress and then it has like all this volume at the bottom so it makes it like really great to like twirl you can kind of see it there that it's just like really really nice you'll see it in the try on clip as again, again it has these little like fluttery kind of like sleeves which I think is just really really cute and feminine for like the summertime I just I love those like really romantic looking dresses and just outfits so this for me is like really romantic and it's like a perfect like sunset date kind of thing uh really really cute i really like it it has a bit of like a 1950s vibe again from Susie sheer i also got this dress which has that 1950s kind of feel to it with the polka dots obviously polka dots are really really big this season i've always loved polka dots it's kind of like a classic print and it's very it kind of gives it like a very like timeless kind of look to it um, so this one again has the pleats at the waist so it kind of like has that kind of nice shape to it as well as it ties at the back which is really important to me just because I really like the cinch in my waist I don't know it's just something that I really like to do um, it does have a more like low cut top to it which I'm not too fond of I'm not really a big like show my collarbones and like chest area like I'm just not really my thing I'm not really sure I just I'm not really into it I don't think it looks good on me so um, I do prefer to wear this with like a top underneath I think that looks a little bit cuter but then again if it's like too hot like I'll probably just wear it on its own the next couple of things my dad brought me from Spain um, and one of them is this romper from Pull and Bear and it's like a linen cream and yellow 
like romper and I just think this would be perfect for going down to like the lake or like a beach or something um, it's just like a very summery kind of print and it's very like retro I don't know it just it reminds me of like vintage like 1950s like swimsuits or something like I don't really know I just I really really like it the next item that I have is from Bershka and it is this like bright yellow sunshine overall dress and I just think it's so cute I feel like you don't really see like overall dresses like this in this particular kind of color or like in colors in general usually you see like denim white and black um, but this would be a really nice change for summer and then usually I'm not really into this kind of like casual look but I think this with like a white lacy like fluttery sleeve top and like a straw hat I think that would look really really nice just to like walk around in like a daytime kind of outfit I think it's really really nice the second thing from Bershka is a pair of like culotte jeans um, and I was really excited about these because I find that like skinny jeans don't flatter my body shape I don't know I just I don't like them on me personally um, so I was really excited about this I love how small the waist is because it actually like cinches in on my waist it doesn't have like that space at the back which like I think we all know what I'm talking about um, the only thing that I don't like about these jeans is that the zipper does not go down far enough so it's like a struggle to get it past like my hip bones which is like really really annoying uh, but once it's on it's really really comfortable and it fits like perfectly on my body so that's probably why I struggle so much to get it like over my hips from Stradivarius I got this like overalls and they are like a plaid white and black overalls and I think this would be really really fun for the fall with like a black turtleneck or something and like a cabbie hat like this I just think it's really really cute and you don't really see many of these and the quality is really nice it's nice and heavy so this would be great for like the fall and then the last thing that I got again I think this is from Stradivarius is this hat uh, oh no this is from Bershka um, and it is like a sorry my hair looks like a mess now um, and it is like a black and white like pinstriped cabbie hat which I think is really cute it is a little bit big which I actually really like I hate it when cabbie hats are a little bit too small just because I feel like they're squishing my head um, but this one like fits really nicely just because it's a little bit wider so it doesn't like squish my hair or anything next thing that I have is another accessory and it is a hat um, and it is from winners and it is like this dark navy I don't know what material this is it's like a it's like a fascinator material um, but it's really really cute I think this will be really nice for like a nice like evening summer stroll or something I think it's really nice I find it really hard to find hats like this typically because they are very expensive in this material but winners had them and they're only $29 so I thought that was a steal so I was like okay this is my time to get one and it just I love this like navy color I think it's so beautiful the next two things that I have are pairs of shoes um, these ones are from forever 21 and they're like these cream little booties and they just kind of reminded me of like 1960s just because it has that small little kind of block heel as well as it has like a slight point to it but it's not too too pointy and I just thought this would be really really cute I already have some ideas of some dresses that I want to wear with it I'm kind of sad that it is a little bit hot outside right now so I'm not going to be able to wear it as much as I would like to um, but they are very cute I got these from the sale section I think I ended up paying like $20 for them which is a really great deal the last pair of shoes that I have my sister actually bought for me randomly and they are these little black patent little block heels um, and I just think they are so 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 cute they have like like three little straps to them you guys know in the fall and winter I love that Mary Jane and tights kind of combo so this is a great addition to my closet and I'm so 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 excited to wear this next thing I have is a little camera bag and I got this from Amazon and it looks like this it's like a faux like crocodile looking little camera bag and this is perfect to fit my vlogging camera my Canon G7X um, and it's just like so cute and it looks a little bit nicer than just like a regular camera bag I have a movie across the universe I had to buy this because they took it off Netflix and I was really upset about it because I really do love this movie it's really really great if you haven't seen it I recommend it then the last few things are books um, and one of them is Emma by Jane Austen and I got this because I had a $10 voucher for Indigo so this book was exactly $9.99 so I ended up just getting it for free which is really nice I was reading it on the train on the way home um, and yeah so I just started that and then the other two books I have the collections of the Kyoto I'm sorry if I butchered that Costume Institute Fashion and History from the 18th to the 20th century so it's just like a small little fashion history book I was reading this the other day when I was outside so it has like a bunch of pages of writing and then it goes into like photographs of what they're talking about which I think is really nice and you even get like some close-up details and stuff so I'm really excited to finish this I'm only on like the first little bit I only read the first like 20 pages and then the last book that I have is the story of art 
which is just this really big art history book. Um, if you guys didn't know, I'm really into art history. When I was in high school, I took art every single year and when we would get to the art history parts, that's like when I would excel even more because I was just really, really into it. I actually considered doing that as a career, like studying art history and like going to university for art history. But I ended up not doing that just because I was a little unsure of what career path I would take after that obviously so I didn't end up pursuing that so it's always nice to just kind of you know expand your knowledge of things that you're passionate about so um, I'm really excited to give this a nice read um, again it has like writing and then sorry this is really heavy um, it has writing and then it has like the little photographs of the paintings or sculptures or whatever that's pretty much it for today's haul I told you guys it was just kind of like really random I feel like none of the pieces kind of went along with each other like nothing was really cohesive but anyway that is what I bought this month um, again thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers you guys like do not even know how happy I am about it like thank you so much uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram if you don't already do so the link is down in the description bar as well as somewhere on the screen my birthday is this week so I'll be up to some things I will be vlogging what well, I have been vlogging this whole past week so be on the lookout for that video next week and I'll see you guys next time bye